Okay, so this is the fourth recording of this audio, and I really hope that I get it right this time, because I really don't want to go for number five. This is a painting. It is a square canvas. I do not know the size of the square canvas. It is painted with sharpened acrylic paints and a variety of different brands of brushes. Some new, some old. Um, that's all I have to say about the brushes. I have been trying to record this audio for about two hours now. Um, I have been wanting to talk to you about what art means to me and I end up just rambling on about something that's completely different. So if I do that in this recording, I'm just going to keep it and I am sorry if I never get to the point. Um, this is part of the light series that I started with my light paintings of different forms of light. I am going to be doing a few more. I'm going to try and make it a series of 10, no promises, but that's what I'm going to try to do. So let's try and talk about what art means to me because I can't seem to get the right words out. I start to talk about my childhood past and I just start rambling on about other parts in my childhood past. So yeah, I, I do apologize again for going all over the place, but you know, I am really hoping that I can get the words out this time. So enough rambling. Art has always been a thing that I've done and for no particular reason it's just always something I've been attracted to doing when I'm at my lowest points even when I'm in my happiest points I still do art art has always been a consistent thing in my life um, no matter what stage of my life I am in no matter what is going on whether it's good or bad. Um, it may seem like I've had like the most bright life, but honestly, I, I really haven't. Um, I've, I've gone through some stuff just like the rest of you probably have. Um, I, I didn't get things handed down to me. I didn't get given things. Um, I, I worked for my skills. I didn't really take very many classes because I couldn't afford them. Um, so the only classes I took were in school and those were my favorite times. Those are when I was the most happiest was when I was just making messes on paper or canvas. Um, I actually do have art from 2009 that I am going to be doing a video on at some point. It's just a really tough video to get through because 2009 was a very interesting year. So, yes. Uh, I can't promise the time frames of what I'm talking about is 100% true because my memory of some of this stuff is not that great because I've shut it out of my memory for a very long time. So digging it back up is very tough. Um, I didn't have very many friends growing up. I never really fit into very many cliques. I didn't even really fit into the art clique um, that was at schools. And I got in trouble a lot. I acted out a lot just to get attention, I guess. I don't really know the reason, but I, I know I acted out a lot. Um, I also got sick a lot too growing up. Um, and I've broken a few things, and I've cracked a few things, and just all of that. I was a very clumsy person. Um, I'm okay now, though. The only issues I have now are my knees sometimes decide to dislocate randomly for no reason at all. But um, again, I'm talking about art. See, I'm rambling again. Let's move back to art. Like I said, during those times, art was always there. Art was always a consistent thing. I saw paintings like in school that they had hung up and I was just always like wondering how they created those and I always wanted to learn. So that's why art class was my favorite class. Um, 
in school growing up so that is what art means to me art to me is basically my life art is the one thing that i have knowledge on i don't have much knowledge anywhere else i never went to college to become a vet i never went to college to become a nurse i never went to college to become a doctor and i turned 30 in a month so i guess it's never too late to try and do something worthwhile with your life um i just never felt good enough to do it so that's why i never did it and i just always did art because i already knew art so yeah um that is what art means to me art to me is my coping mechanism to deal with things art is always there even when i'm trying to shut art out it still manages to find its way back through so i think i need to just accept that i am an artist and art is the one thing that i bothered to learn i didn't bother to learn math i didn't bother to learn english like i didn't bother to be a teacher to teach those kinds of classes um you know i i did my best to pass those classes but that was about it so i i think i passed a few of those at the lowest possible level that you could pass <laughs> um but yeah so that is what art means to me and this is not a pity story this is not poor me poor me please don't think that that's what i'm doing i just felt like giving reasons as to what art means to me as to why i create it and share it with you guys i just love doing it i i love art and i love seeing other artists create art that's why i'm always so encouraging with people with with their talents even with people who say they can't draw i'm like sure you can you just gotta start so it all starts with starting so all right guys i will stop talking your ear off like i said i'm gonna keep this fourth recording i'm not gonna change it and hopefully you don't mind the rambles um i hope you guys are well i hope you're doing okay i hope you're safe i hope you're not hungry i hope you're not depressed and if you are i hope you are figuring it out i hope you are coming out of it i hope you are doing stuff to try and come out of it because you are loved you are important and you are amazing um i hope to see you in the next video i'm going to stop talking now and i'm going to let you enjoy the rest of this detailing with these candles because it's my favorite part and I will see you very soon in the next video. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but it's going to come soon. So, alright guys, please take care. And remember, you are amazing. You are unique. Nobody can ever just be who you are. So, I'm sorry if you are fighting through something. I am here for you. Um, we're all here for you. And... I hope to see you in the next video. Um, Alright guys, bye.